Hey guys, I'm going to show you uh, not only my favorite uh, warm-up, but also a, uh, a great uh, kind of diagnostic for the, the sort of uh, mobility training you might uh, need to do um, and the strength training you might need to do. And I use this as a warm-up. Uh, I hate, let me, full disclosure, I hate warm-up. Warm-up is the thing that makes me not want to train. If I could just be dropped down warm into whatever training thing I'm going to do, man, I, I would pay a lot for that to happen. Uh, unfortunately, uh, warming up is something we've all got to uh, deal with. I know Mr. Dornbush has been doing some nice warm-ups for our videos, uh, but I wanted to show you this too because it has it has sort of a different um, a different component uh, to it. So it's it's bear crab duck, right? The bear, the crab, and the duck uh, walk. This will activate and gently stretch just about every muscle uh, in your body and ev everything that you need to kind of activate in order to get into. Uh, whatever sort of training you're going to do. I think it's really, really versatile. Um, I'm going to show you some things about each technique. So from the side, as you go into bear, um, get your butt as high as you can uh, get it and try to leave your legs straight and bring your hands and feet really close together. So I'm here and this way. Now I know that uh, my good training friend and teaching friend, uh, Master Ian, uh, we'll also teach a bear walk that is a little lower where your butt is low and you're kind of going, you're going this way. Uh, and that's really good too. That's just a little different. I mean, that's more on the strengthening side. Um, whereas this, the straight leg one kind of gets, get a, a nice hamstring loosen up going. So I'm going to bear forward here for some chunk of space. I'm going to turn and then go back. All right, and then we're gonna get into crab. All right, so a couple things about crab. Always do crab forward. Forward crab is gonna uh, just give you way more activation in, in, your, in your glutes and, and get your shoulder uh, extension going the way you want it to. Also, when you crab walk, just doing this probably doesn't do too much for you. You gotta try to lift your hips. And you see if, as I lift my hips up, my shoulders go into extension and that's that shoulder extension here is where a lot of adults especially are really really tight so this is a good kind of opening up exercise to do as i walk forward i'm going to think about really squeezing my glutes as i walk forward get my shoulders loosen up again don't do the backwards crab turn and back this way all right, and you switch into duck, put your foot flat, keep your bottom low, and walk this way. All right. In duck position, and also with squatting, if, if you can't do it, more and more what I'm noticing is that people are, are in trouble with their, their duck and their squat because of tight ankles. And I realize that because I've got them and I've had to do some things to kind of get in there and reposition that, that joint so that I have a little better mobility uh, in my ankle. But just doing the drill, of course, will help. So I'm doing the duck forward, run out of space, and start to go back this way. If you can do it without putting your hands down, that's great. And I like to do it uh, down and back uh, each kind of animal walk three times. So down and back bear, down and back crab, down and back duck. Do that three times, man. Everything just feels pretty warm and loose uh, at that point. Nate, one more point about these before we wrap it up. One of the things that's nice about the animal walk is it gives you a unilateral kind of activation. So, like if I'm gonna press a barbell or do a squat or something like that, a lot of times it, you know, it seems like both legs at the same time or both arms at the same time, but you might actually be getting more like 60% with one and 40% with the other. And if that's happening, you probably don't even know it. And it's giving you a little bit of an imbalance uh, in your body. But with these, with these animal exercises, since it's kind of alternating, it's one at a time, you just really make sure that you're getting a balanced 
work out there. All right. Why don't you do with me? Uh, we we kind of did the one. Why don't we do the rest of this as a little mini workout together? All right. So we're starting with bear. Let's go forward bear. Keep your butt high, legs straight. Head. Notice that my head is down. You might have to look up once in a while to tell where you're going. Come around. Lifting my hips. Going with this crab forward. Ooh, that feels nice on the shoulders. You know, if you have injuries, you may avoid some of these. Remember, pain is not allowed for any of this stuff. Like if, if uh, the duck gives you knee pain, it's out. There's so many things you can do, guys, that don't hurt you. You don't have to go into any one particular thing that's going to cause pain. All right, let's go back the other direction. All right, now we're on duck. Forward duck. And back. Nice day today. Back to bear. Back to crab. duck. Yep, your duck might tell you you need to work on your ankles or your inner hip mobility, hip flexion, and back. Okay, so if you can do those, great. Use that as a warm-up from time to time. I think you'll find they'll feel really good. If you, if you can't do one of those, and it, if it's not because of an injury, I want you to find out why you can't do it. And I want you to dig into that, and it's probably a wonderful thing for you to be working on uh, whatever restriction in your mobility or your strength is holding you back from doing those three exercises. Bear, crab, duck. Nice job. We'll see you guys soon.